Hi, it's Richard Price from Digital360 here, and this is an introductory video to Zoho Campaigns and how it can link in with Zoho CRM. Zoho Campaigns is a fully-fledged um, email direct marketing system. Uh, it is cloud-based and you pay based on either the number of emails that you wish to send or which I recommend is that you pay a monthly subscription fee based on the number of contacts that you have. To give you some idea, if you've got a thousand contacts, up to a thousand contacts, it can cost you as little as $10 US um, per month um, for that subscription. And if you've got more, then you pay a little bit more for however many you use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and show you um, uh, some of the things that Zoho Campaigns does. Um, basically, there is uh, three um, stages to uh, a campaign. Um, number one is sorting out um, your contact list. Uh, the second is to create the campaign, and third is the sending and reporting of the campaign. Now, what I um, uh, promote a lot is using Zoho campaigns in conjunction with Zoho CRM. Um, Zoho CRM is very good at um, tracking communications, um, with um, potentials, leads, uh, prospects, um, as well as your current and ex customers. So it's really good um, uh, for tracking that and also for doing um, forecasting of sales and your sales pipeline. What Zoho have done um, is to also create Zoho campaigns, which um, is a fully fledged um, uh, email marketing system, uh, very similar to um, um, uh, MailChimp and um, uh, similar systems. What it does is it um, allows um, your organization to um, authenticate um, the authenticity of the emails uh, to prevent them from going directly into people's junk um, or spam mail folders and um, it also gives the recipient some kind of confidence that you are complying with the anti-spamming regulations uh, primarily um, those um, that um, are in force in the US and in Europe, um, which is similar to our regulations in New Zealand. So uh, let's have a look at the, the three components. First of all, uh, a contact list. So um, what uh, we um, can do is, as you just saw then, you can actually have a link on your website where people simply put their address and they can subscribe to newsletters. So that's one great way of being able to do that. And that is as simple as creating a, um, uh, a web form. Um, and uh, this system will then give you a, a little bit of um, code, which you can then either give to your web developer, or if you're using something like WordPress and you're doing it yourself, you can simply paste it onto a page and it will create um, the form for you. Um, so that is um, uh, that is very, very useful. For those that are um, wanting to send campaigns out to, um, uh, to their contacts in um, Zoho CRM, what you would do is you would, um, first of all, um, uh, integrate Zoho campaigns with Zoho CRM. So there's a very um, easy um, integration step um, with CRM, as you can see here. Um, and once you've done that, then you can go into contacts and go sync contacts and create um, 
a, a synchronization between campaigns and CRM. Now, what that does is whenever you update um, uh, or add or modify or even delete a contact in Zoho CRM, uh, that change is then synchronized on a daily basis or weekly basis, if you so wish, um, with the uh, campaigns database. So um, uh, really, I sort of think about it as being one database. Um, um, and uh, it means that uh, all your staff members, as long as they're keeping the CRM system up to date, then um, it'll go out to the proper people when a campaign is sent out. Um, so once you do that, uh, you can create that. You can map fields. So what I tend to do is, is uh, you know, bring in um, as many segmentation fields as, as possible um, from the CRM system so that then you can segment the database here within um, the um, Zoho campaigns. Um, once you've created those lists, uh, you'll be able to, um, uh, to, to see them, select them and track them, and segment them as I've just mentioned. You can also import mailing lists um, uh, using a Excel spreadsheet, uh, well, any spreadsheet for that matter. Um, and so uh, when you're um, uh, bringing them in, you can create um, new ones. The synchronization between Zoho CRM and Zoho Campaigns is two-way. Uh, what happens is that the contact information is um, synchronized with Zoho Campaigns, and when you send out a campaign, that information actually feeds back through to Zoho CRM. So that when you're looking up a contact record within CRM, uh, you will be able to see um, the result of that campaign. So what does that look like in the CRM system? So if we take um, this campaign that I've sent out, um, I can go into the CRM system and I can go under campaigns. Please don't get them confused. This is the campaigns module within CRM, whereas Zoho campaigns is actually a separate um, uh, system uh, and account, um, albeit that it's a single login. So I can see here that there are several um, email campaigns that have gone out. So if I click on this, I actually see the results of this campaign. Now I can see the results um, in um, Zoho campaigns, and in fact, I can see a quite detailed um, reports and I can actually create quite detailed reports in relation to this particular campaign and campaigns. But I do get an overview um, of the a summary of the results um, in here. So I can actually see that it was one delivered, one was open and one was clicked. Um, so it actually tells me that uh, links were clicked within that email. And I can go down, I can see when it was done. But most importantly, then I can actually see who received them. Um, so I can click on to here, and it takes me to that contact record. So it's Mr. Price at Digital 360 Limited. And if I scroll down to the related um, uh, records, um, I can see down here um, campaigns. And I can actually see that there's been several campaigns sent to this particular contact. And I can see that one uh, in this particular campaign, they not only opened it, but they clicked it. Um, and I can see that these ones, um, they have opened it. Um, on the flip side, if a salesperson is going and doing a visit and they actually come down and see, oh, they're not opening them, or more importantly, if they are clicking on them, you can actually delve in in a bit more detail in Zoho campaigns and be able to see what they clicked in and therefore what they are interested in. And you can go um, pre-informed into a sales meeting um, with that, that information. So going back to campaigns, um, once you've created the sync, 
The sync can be done, as I said, uh, on a one-off basis or a daily basis, which I um, suggest, or um, uh, uh, on a weekly or, or monthly basis. Um, and once you've done that, then you can uh, you will have a, a, a list um, and then you can segment that list. So that's um, uh, the first stage. Second stage is um, uh, creating the campaign itself. So um, what you uh, can do is uh, put in a name, so test campaign, and um, you put a subject line, um, you know, um, free products. Um, you can put in, uh, you know, a sales team or um, uh, you can have it more personal. You can select, so you can add more than one sender uh, to your list and then select from that. And you can also have it replying to somebody else. So you can have it being sent, for example, by uh, Richard at Digital360. But then you can have anybody that replies to that email campaign can go to, say, sales at uh, Digital360. Um, you then go in and you create a, um, a content. I tend to just send HTML. I go templates. Um, there are lots of templates, as you can see here. If I click onto this and choose that, it already has some of this. I tend to use, um, you know, blank um, templates because it's actually easier and quicker than trying to manipulate predefined templates. So once you've done that, you can save and close. So that's the content done. You can um, uh, you can have links to attach uh, to downloads or attachments. You can't actually attach to the email um, because that is against the anti-spamming regulations. Um, uh, you can also embed um, or have links to videos. So I usually have an image with the play button and a link and uh, so people can actually see that and click on it and um, go through. Um, the reason for the links as well is that it's uh, you can actually then track who clicks what and therefore what people are interested in, in particular in that campaign. Now, um, one thing that uh, to remember is that you can actually also use this to do social campaigns. So that is with social media, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, and what you can also do is you can also have these email campaigns appear on those social media networks as well as sending it out by email. So you're killing two birds with one stone and you're able to um, maximize your reach. And it also makes it easier for your recipients to forward and to create a viral um, scenario. So once you've done this, you go um, save and exit. You can send tests to yourself or to other team members to get approval. And then what you do is you can add recipients. So I can click onto a list that I've already created, which I've um, mentioned before. So you can see that there's one um, user there. I go save and exit. Now you come up with this. Um, now, one thing that's um, uh, uh, interesting with Zoho campaigns is that once you're uh, ready to send a campaign, it actually, you send it for review by the Zoho compliance team. Now, what they do is they go through and make sure that, you know, uh, uh, it's a legit email, that it's not try, uh, it's not against the anti-spamming regulations, or it's got um, uh, profanity or um, pornography, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, they they do um, you know review that because the integrity of the system um, is is key. Uh, uh, otherwise, they can lose their certification or systems may actually start blacklisting the system. So send it through. It usually takes about five minutes to get back to you. At most, about thirty minutes. So not too bad. Once you've done that, then you can send it or you can schedule it to be sent at some time and that can be local time or um, overseas time. So after that, you've got your reporting. Thanks for watching and if you've got any questions, email me richard at digital360.co.nz. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.